Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 54, and we'll send you now to Miami, standing by to call their fourth Super Bowl together. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the five-time Super Bowl champs from the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon Godden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, many had ordained the Kansas City Chiefs to be the best team in the NFL coming into the season, and now here they are, one game away from their first Super Bowl title since Super Bowl IV 50 years ago. And we'll get to that in just a minute, but how about this? This is their fifth straight playoff appearance. They went to overtime with New England in the AFC title game last year. Remember, they were down big at the half, came all the way back and had a chance to win, lost in overtime. Finally climbed that mountain and got back. And do you remember Super Bowl IV against Minnesota? Remember Hank Stram as their coach? On the sidelines, mic'd up for the first time. That really gave us a lot of what we have now with NFL films. What a terrific performance by that Kansas City team. And they blew away the Vikings in that game. Meanwhile, the 49ers are back in the Super Bowl for the seventh time in franchise history. One of the more successful teams in the Super Bowl era as they look to claim their sixth title, which would tie them with the Patriots and Steelers for most ever. I like how you stated that they're one of the more successful franchises in Super Bowl history because at one point, they were 5-0 and in Super Bowls. Joe Montana with wins in Super Bowl 16, 19, 23 and 24 and Steve Young remember that one get the monkey off my back as he won big in Super Bowl 29 but they lost their last time out against the Ravens in Super Bowl 47 they're looking for a little bit of that can we get right again, guys? And I think the San Francisco 49ers team is going to play awfully well in this game and they're hoping that the lights stay on in the stadium the entire game this go around this will be taken in at the one and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jimmy Garoppolo leading the 49ers into this Super Bowl. It was October of 2017 that the 49ers traded for Jimmy G. In February of 2018, they made him the highest-paid quarterback in the NFL, and now here he is just two short years later trying to join Joe Montana and Steve Young as 49er quarterbacks to win a Super Bowl title. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running go. lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. On second down, it's Coleman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Here we go, here third we go, here play we go. here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? 
that's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Patrick Mahomes leading out the Chiefs. Now they, of course, were so close to a trip to Atlanta a year ago. Losers in overtime of the AFC title game. They made it a point that they were going to get back this year, and Mahomes, the 2018 MVP, he has followed through, getting KC to the Super Bowl in his third NFL season. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Right here, right here. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Nick Bosa credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Terrell Suggs. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And now running right through it. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. 
Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. through the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen right the last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time yeah first quarter only but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Okay, CD, let's talk about Casey as their offense comes back out here. 12 and 4 finish as they head into this divisional round, four straight AFC West title. They're searching for something that they haven't had in a half century, and everybody knows what that is. That's a Super Bowl berth, though. We thought their season might be in trouble when Mahomes went down Ooh, with that yeah. kneecap injury. That was in mid October. But he and the Chiefs, they haven't lost in the last six games. A strong finish, and they're looking as good as they have in a long time. And they have to give some credit to Matt Moore as the backup quarterback for keeping things afloat while Mahomes was out. Because remember, they beat Minnesota in a home game that was a difficult one for them. And they also had a tough one with Green Bay that they almost pulled out at home as well. So give him a lot of credit. But Mahomes has his magic back. Seems to be fully healed from the ankle, from the knee. He is playing well, but the defense, that's what's morphed and made them different. The last half of the year, they got better against the run in no small part because Chris Jones, their all-pro defensive tackle, got back in the lineup and really solidified things, along with Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger, playing near the line of scrimmage as a defensive back. Kansas City is going to be very dangerous in the playoffs as a number two seed. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. It's complete to Robinson. And he is going to get the first go, down, it looks like, as he's up to the 12. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Did you see that route the way that I did? Yep. I thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And a penalty flag is down to the backfield as they finally bring him to the turf. And I'm not sure this is gonna stand. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Robinson's got it. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A big pickup of 38. Well, that'll help get you out of danger. So much for playing it conservatively back towards your own goal line. That aggressive mentality, sometimes you can use it. And they did there against a the defense who probably thought to themselves, there's no way they take a shot here this deep in their own territory. Yellow. 
Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Off the draw, here's Williams. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. To throw, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize I on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? San Francisco coming back out here on offense. See, this is a team that is in the midst of their first playoff appearance since 2013. Biggest jump of any squad because just four wins last year, 13 this year, and that win in Seattle, week 17, so huge. The tackle by Dre Greenlaw and Jacob Hollister on the half-yard line to preserve the victory. You think about the magnitude of that play. What a difference it would be between three road games if they would have been the number five seed versus two potential home games as the number one seed. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, you talk about safety first. Gosh, for such a rare play, kind of unbelievable. How many Super Bowls recently have begun with a safety? Charles, you had, let's see, you had Tom Brady getting yes. called for grounding against the Giants in Super Bowl 46. Peyton, Peyton Manning with the snap over his head in Super Bowl 48. Yep, and now here's this one. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. This is taken around the 12. Come on now, let's go! And now here comes Kansas City. They've had it twice, they've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. When we talk about the best corners in the league, we're usually saying shut down corners. Guys, you can't complete passes against. Richard Sherman fits that definition to a T. The best part of his game, no wasted moves. He studies the opponent so well, hard, hard, hard to get a pass on Richard Sherman. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First down, Garoppolo. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. And let's take a look at the defensive striders for Kansas City. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Coleman. And an alley to run. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 18-yard line. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right check there. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 183, 153. Garoppolo now, first down throw. The quick slant caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of here people go, call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Here we go. From the two-yard line yet again, let's see what they can do on third and goal. Garoppolo looks to throw once more toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. I don't know who exactly made the call. Was it the special teams coach? But it had to be okayed by the head coach. Gutsy call, fake field goal that results in a touchdown. A terrific play. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it's now a 7-2 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's likely still kicking himself from the interception last drive that wound up leading to a go-ahead score. And he's going to assume all that came with that one, all right? That's all on him, but he also knows he's got to erase it from his mind and get back out there. This drive, very important. Yellow. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He finds Robinson. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Mahomes, and he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. 
They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Go, An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. Throwing now is Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he is going to lose yardage here. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. set to get this drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven go, yards on first down, that fits the bill. I'm coming up to the hut. I'm coming up to you. The hut. The hut. On second down, it's Coleman, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down, and a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be go, alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. here to board. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 183. Let's get off the field. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. It's go, second go. and goal, hey. back to the eight-yard line now. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. A nice run there, eight yards, moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Niners on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and goal. Here 
Looking from the gun, Garoppolo to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's Damian Williams making his way back out. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about no, it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Yellow. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. On second down, Williams. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Throwing is Mahomes on third, and this is caught by Watkins. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. We're in the second quarter, they've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, CD, with the end of the season comes the announcement of the All-Pro team, and everybody was like, wait a second, Christian McCaffrey's listed twice. Is that a mistake? Go, no, go. he got it both at running back and flex. Pretty impressive. Very impressive because I think a lot of people thought that if you have a running back and a flex position, that maybe Christian McCaffrey would go into the flex because he catches the ball so well. And he would go ahead and elevate the big guy out of Tennessee, Derrick Henry, to the all-pro running back. Henry ends up being a second-team guy, but McCaffrey deserves being first-team running back as well as first-team flex. He had a tremendous, spectacular year. And as you might imagine, Baltimore leads the way. Five players named the all-pro selection. Of course, leading the way for them, the quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Yes, and, and rightly so. And I fully expect him to be named the MVP when we get to NFL honors right before the Super Bowl. He's going to sweep all of those, and he deserves it carried that team throughout the season and got better in their bigger games. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful, and now they have to deal with second and very long. This is Coleman. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these go, pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Got his target, Samuel. That one good for 24 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Here we go, here we go, here we so go. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Garoppolo. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away go, and bring go. up second Ready? down. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. Coleman. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss.
The Niners on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 11. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, 80. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up in intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman of the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Now he's got it, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Here we go. 183. Got you, boy. It's Coleman here. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. We well, got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Gold to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Damian Williams and the Chiefs ready to begin their next drive. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Yellow, yellow. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He's got his man on the comebacker. That's Watkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. That's complete to Robinson. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts 
as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run it with Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys are back within a single score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, here however. Go, go, no doubt go. about it. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. Completes it to Coleman. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing go, like that, running Baby. back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Garoppolo looks to throw. It's caught by Sanders. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third down, here's Coleman. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. 
And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25 yard line they start the second half here with Williams. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He's going to let this one go deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's third and short. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, 
Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense. We've got the lead. We've got, de got, got the lead. Defense. Don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Second and nine now from the 21. Coleman now. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. Throwing quickly, Mahomes gets this out to Watkins. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. They'll run on first down. It's Williams. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 
Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. A quick throw out wide, caught by Robinson. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. They begin the drive with Coleman. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Damian Wilson in on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From just shy of midfield, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available, and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot go, go, defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Tevin Coleman, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive spanned five plays. And Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Mahomes to throw. This is caught by Williams. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. James now to return. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And out will come the offense as they take over. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Here we go, here we go. This is a massive man. From the 34 now, here's Ready? first and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Got the connection here to Bourne. That throw good for four. It's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 53, Mike, 53. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. 33 yards that time. Brandon, that was a nice route that time. Lined him up on the right and worked his way all the way across the formation. One of the toughest routes to cover because you keep waiting for the ball to be thrown and for him to break something off. He goes all the way across the field, right to left, for a big play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 
Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there, it'll be second and nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They only got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine. There's Garoppolo to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. That catch good for only a yard and it'll be third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here we go, here we go, here and on third down, go. a nickel formation here defensively. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Garoppolo again. That's caught. It's Coleman. It's a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Gold is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run it again with Williams. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. On the return, it's James. 
Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. Looking to throw. Garoppolo complete to the tight end Kittle over the middle of the field. That throw good for four. It's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, Here we go. stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Go, go. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that go. advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard game. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. In your place. On first down, Coleman. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On second and 12, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here we go, here we go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Drops it off for Coleman. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Let's go. To throw, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. 
These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll run on first down. It's Coleman. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown from six yards away. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. No lead safe in the new NFL, but this score is really going to give them some needed breathing room. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Yo, yo. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Okay. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete to Robinson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Mahomes throwing complete there to Robinson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard and you probably ran them when you were five years old. How about that little curl there against zone? But the key to it, is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Gold to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Watch the pass. 36, 36. On first down, it's Williams. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Mahomes going to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 22 yards there, a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Yeah. 
So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The Chiefs on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. Mahomes now to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. The outcome of this one... Well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won about, every game as a no, player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, here we go, here we go, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. The team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season... I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? Yes, as, the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and here how go, it all go. happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles. The Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, San Francisco, the pick up 14 yards. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they wanted to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him, get our offense jump started, and in this case, it's worked throughout the game. Thus, they have the lead. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. And now we'll hook up downfield on second down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. 
Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Here we go, here so we go. now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now they hand off to Coleman. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They will run again with Coleman. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here we go, here we go, I here see we go. an extra defensive Wait. back on the field. little surprise here big on third stop, and one. Big stop. Yes, yes. On play action, it's Garoppolo. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Tight left, tight left. We got four. Now Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now here's Mahomes. This is caught by Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is caught by Williams. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Yeah, baby. 
The clock showing two minutes even in what's been a memorable Super Bowl 54. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes gets past one man. They complete it to Hill. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! Mike, number 53, Mike, 53! Check, check, check. check. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Mike, 53. 53, Mike, Mike. Hey, let's get it. And that'll set them back five. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Let's go, let's go! Stay hot! Stay hot! They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down, Coleman. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. 
Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.